Jesus, when the Jesus ascends to heaven, and God lets him know that I'm going to leave a helper. Okay. To, uh, to to continue the message. Okay. Whether the Holy Spirit or or some people, some Muslims believe it was the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, peace be upon you. You know, it's a good question. The first thing is that when we talk about biblical interpretation, right, you're going to have different opinions. Right. Is that a reference to the Prophet Muhammad? Peace be upon you. Could be. Is it a reference to the Holy Ghost? Could be. I haven't done enough research to say that, but I will say that what we find in this Bible to the point that it shows very clearly that Jesus is not God, right? And I'll show you that this Bible is not preserved. It's not preserved in its original message, right? And I'm going to show you some verses right now, right? Here in First Chronicles 21.5. Then Job gave the sum of the number of the people to David. All Israel had was 1,100,000. How many did Israel have? Yeah, one million one hundred thousand men who drew the sword, and Judah had four hundred and seventy thousand men who drew the sword. Okay, so you remember those numbers, right? Now, in the same Bible, when we go to Second Samuel. Right. 24, 9. Then Job gave the sum of the number of the people to the king, King David. And there were in Israel 800,000 valiant men who drew the sword. And the men of Judah were 500,000. You, you see, I see the this is 800,000 of Israel and 500 of Judah. Same Job, same David. And here it's... 1,100,470. So now, many biblical commentators say, this is a mistake. These are different accounts from different men, and they made a mistake, right? Now, I'll show you another one. This is one me and Sneeko used before. But. Ahia Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem, okay? And his mother was Ataliyah, the granddaughter of Umri, okay? So Ahia Isaiah was how old? 22 and he reigned one year right so it's not like he reigned twice and his mother is Athaliah the granddaughter of Umri you feel me how you doing good, good. here in 2nd Chronicles 22 2 Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem same one year and his mother was Athaliah the granddaughter of Umri okay you see that to be a contradiction? Well, let me explain. I, I, I want to show you Shinigo something actually, because me and him were talking to somebody, and somebody was saying, oh no, he ruled twice, right? Yeah. Something funny here, look. His Another. father, his father was 32 years old when he became king. 32 years old. 32 years old, and he reigned in Jerusalem eight years, right? Yeah. So 32 plus eight is what? 40. And no one had sorrow when he departed. When he died, nobody cared. However, they hurried, they hurried him to the city of David, but not to the tombs of the kings. I got you. We'll, we'll talk in a minute. Thank you. And then the inhabitants of Jerusalem made Isaiah his youngest son the king. They hurried to make his son the king. How old was he died? 40. And how old was his son? 42. 42, yeah. So how can, two, how yeah. can your son, your youngest son, be two years older than you? You see that whole argument of rolling twice gets destroyed right here. You feel me? This, this will definitely it's okay, but let me ask you this though. Go ahead. Where where in scripture did you find the word Muslim in the Bible? It was, it was never actually, mentioned. Actually, of course it was. Good question, actually. What is a Muslim? I'm assuming because I'm not a yeah, believer in I God. You. you don't believe in God? I said oh, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming because I'm not oh, a Muslim. Okay, okay. A believer in God. A believer in God. A Muslim comes from the word aslama in Arabic, which means to submit. So when you submit yourself to your Creator, you're a Muslim, right? For example, the word Israel used for Yaqub, Jacob. In Hebrew, when you look at the meaning, is the one who submits, the one who is the slave and the submitter to God. So that word in Arabic would be Muslim, right? So when you're looking at Hebrew words and Arabic words, you have to look at the meaning. So no doubt, every prophet that said, I submit myself to my creator in accordance with the Arabic language would be a Muslim. Right, now, of course not. I, 
This is something you I feel see me? on social media. All right. and I, I mean, no disrespect. No, 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 no. Don't, don't feel shy. Ask anything. From I see something that was posted, right? Yeah, and yeah. it said uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his, uh, his last words, what, what was his last words? To, he reminded the people to make their prayers. Salah, salah. It was something else about something like I'm not the one or the way or something yeah, like that. It, there's no such thing. Yeah. Again, like I said, yeah. that's what I'm saying. You know, no, don't, don't trust social media. <laughs> but the Prophet's last words, was to remind his nation to stick to the scripture and his way and he reminded them as salah, as salah, the prayer, the prayer. And Jesus' right? last words was, I am the way, enter heaven. Right. I am the way, I am the way. Once again, so the, those words you're taking from the Bible, right? And we've already shown the Bible's corrupted, right? We, we can say certain, it's been rewritten. But, but, but those are clear contradictions, right? They, they're both, you can't be 20, how old are you? Uh, if you don't mind 30, me asking. 38? Okay. You look young, bro. You look okay. young. All right. Now, you're 38, right? If he comes and says you're 28, right? And I say you're 38, one of us is wrong. Right? right? So either you're 22 or 42. So one of them has. Either Israel had 1,100,000 or 800,000, right? How did Judas die? He was hot. All right. Now, check this out. Now, this man. So those are now contradictions even in the theology of when Jesus was betrayed, right? In the same Bible, it says Jesus is the son of man, right? If you go to the Old Testament, it says God is not the son of man. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man. So the Bible God says is God. God is not the son of man. And if the Bible says Jesus is the son of man, how could he be God? Say that one more time. All right. God is not a man, okay. nor a son of man. Okay. Right here in Numbers 23. I never 19. saw this one. Yeah. It I says, so what verse is this? This is Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man. God is not a man that he should, should lie, lie, nor a son of man, nor son of man, that yeah. he should repent. So God is not a man, nor, nor, nor is he son of man, right? right? But then the Bible. Wait, but what is that? Maybe it's out of concept, like that he should lie. Of course, that men they make mistakes, they lie, but God is not a man. He's perfect. So because right? a God can't make mistakes. Of course, and God is not the son of a man. You're not son of man, and you can even see clearly says son of man, right? Now, in the same Bible, when you go into the New Testament, it says Jesus is the Son of Man. He's called the Son of Man. Right? So, right? But he, being, being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into the into the heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at his right hand and he said look I see heaven open and the son of man Jesus the son of man standing at the right hand of God son of man so Jesus is called the son of man and the Bible says God is not the son of man so I think Jesus, that's interpretation well, how right it, it, individuals what, interpretation. what's your father's name God. So your father. Oh, Evan. Evan, right? Evan. If I say you're the son of Evan, and I say he is not the son of Evan, that's a very clear statement, right? Now, sometimes son is used in endearment, right? Okay. Like, for example, you see a young man, you tell him, come here, son, let me talk to you. Yeah. Right? Or you see a priest, you say, forgive me, father, for I have sinned. Right? Right? But you don't mean that he's your physical father. Yeah. Right? In that sense, many people are called sons of God. In the Bible, for example, it says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men. This is Genesis 6-2. But they're not physically the sons of God, right? What's become a believer, you're now a son of God. Okay, so in that sense, me and you, in that sense, would be sons of God as believers. Right. So in that sense, if you say Jesus was a believer of God, I'm with you, right? But when you say that Jesus is God, that goes against your own scripture. 